Allah Rahman Rahim. This Rahmah and this mercy is so immense. We are so fortunate to be on a path in which Allah filled with love and asks us to raise yourself, raise your level of belief. Now we Allah come into our life and begin to teach that each of the Prophets of Allah have a reality for us and you are not complete until you have been taught by them Sayyidina Adam salam is always tanzila, is always an emanation from paradise coming to earth. That these souls that Allah were just sending from paradise coming continuously into dunya and Sayyidina Adam salam is reminding, your life is not about being a donkey that eat and drink and go to the bathroom. Allah has honoured and gifted us with a tremendous gift, rise to the occasion. There's a secret within you that all the heavens is jealous of that secret. Then they take us to Sayyidina Nuh and Sayyidina Nuh begins to teach that you have a ship and that ship is your soul. You have an eternal journey. Everybody has a ship of safety and our life is to build that ship and that is the soul, that is the maqam al-iman. Means you'll be tested in life, those tests will determine your faith. No test, no faith. How you endure through those tests means then establishes your level of belief and faith. And that's why Allah's greatest ni'mat for us is to send us guidance, send us into the hands of the guides and the, the murshids, the awliya who guide us and keep reminding that Allah going to test. And when the test comes have the best of character. Without a guide you think that you yell back at your boss and your bravo and that you fight with everybody in traffic honk and stick your finger out and say, you know, you accomplished much. Not feeling shy, Allah watching. They say you can't even honk your horn in the way of turuq. You can't honk your horn. If somebody obnoxiously pulls in front of you, it's a shadat for you, stay back and drive slow. Even Sayyidina Ali wouldn't pass somebody walking slow on the street, on the road. Stand behind with adab and walk slowly behind them. Means everything has an adab, everything has a reality and they come into our lives so that we can pass. Not thinking we're clever, we fought, we cursed, we yelled at everyone, oh I'm so great, I'm powerful in this world. No, you end up in a seat somewhere where you don't want to think about it. So they come and say, how to pass the level of faith, that's Sayyidina Nuh salam. You go to the masjid and everyone says, yeah I have my muttaqeen, I have taqwa, we're talking about muttaqeen. Taqwa of your ears in which you hear is the hadith of Prophet hadith of Qudsi. My servant finishes all the fard and then approaches with voluntary worship. All those senses Allah certified that they have a qudra. What they see through the heart and the eye of their heart you can't imagine fi darajatihim. Some see paradises, some see beyond imagination. What they breathe of qudra is unimaginable, they don't breathe the air of this dunya. Because of their paradise reality Allah send for them a mask in which they breathe from their paradise. This is called nafasa 
Ibadul Rahman. They, they are equipped, they are not all sending people empty onto this earth. Allah is going to support their hands. Baya is to Allah and the hand of Prophet upon their hand and Allah's hand upon their hand means they have now the qudra. Allah says tabarak of blessing on their hands that you can't imagine. From why? Because Allah's hand on their hand, Prophet hand on their hand, their hands are driven by Allah's power and their feet, their qadam is on the qadam of Prophet Because this is the eternal story of all the Prophets, all the Prophets are on that step. Have you started planning for the cost of post-secondary education? We will help you open a plan and access thousands of dollars in government grants. Give your child a head start with a CET plan. Did you know that it may be possible to start an RESP and not contribute any of your own money? Call today and receive 25 air miles reward miles when you book a consultation. NAS Window Blinds offers high quality custom window coverings for both residential and commercial projects. We offer a stunning range of colors and design options. We also provide an on-site measurement and style consultation so that you can be sure you're getting the very best option for your windows. Let us enrich the look, feel and value of your space with custom window coverings. Call NAS Blinds today. The Sirat al Mustaqim is on the steps of all the Prophets. Each one came to bring a chapter in this reality, its khatim and its seal is Sayyidina Muhammad. And I'm the seal of all the Prophets, I complete this story, Ali Salatu Salam, Prophet. But each one has for us a reality. Allah is timeless. What's, what's Allah want from us? From Malakut. Sayyidina Ibrahim comes into our life and begins to teach that all the fire and the anger of this Nimrod and this world going to be thrown upon you, don't have qadab, don't have anger and they're going to continuously test you in your anger. Every time you explode you start back at page one. When you want to know why Allah teaches a servant is because they understood this. That Allah is not going to teach a servant who is angry. Not going to teach a servant who doesn't know any of these realities, what are they going to teach you? He has to teach the basics. Sayyidina Ibrahim comes and said, They threw me into a fire. Qul ya naru kuni badan wa salaman ala Ibrahim. All of us we have to make wudu every time you get angry. Ya Rabbi, say to this fire to be cool and peaceful. Everything is to control, control and Sayyidina Ibrahim begin to come and teach that don't have anger in which you want to harm Allah's creation but keep that within yourself and that anger instead of a fire on people becomes a himmat al rijal become like a fire of a rocket that it goes inside and Allah show you and begin to train you how to control that and you become like a shining sun in which you use that fire to move for Allah 
Rijal Allah they can move a mountain if given permission from Prophet Otherwise you see them as nothing. Sayyidina Musa comes into our life and begins to teach these realities that you have to have a heart in which is filled with the love of Allah Nabi Musa has to teach us that I saw Allah as a burning bush. Allah is not a burning bush but that's the state of your heart. Your heart has to be in so much love. And when you're crying out and seeing oppression and seeing all the bad character and you're not going to be angry, you're just going to bring that as a fire within yourself, your heart is on fire, on fire for the Divinely love and Divinely fragrance. At that time Allah begin to open up for you your vision. So come, come to us without your shoes, without your bad ego and without your bad characteristic and Nabi Musa has to come and teach us. So these people on the internet who are, who are coming against different prophets, eh, they've already shut the door and sealed themselves far away from realities. Sayyidina Nanu, Sayyidina Ibrahim, Sayyidina Musa, Sayyidina Isa Sayyidina Adam that Allah loves all these servants, Allah sent all of these servants with a gift for us. Did you know that your child may be eligible to receive up to $10,000 in government grants to pay for his or her post-secondary education? My name is Sikandar Hayat. I am here to help you. Call today for a free consultation. Knowledge, quality, integrity. Star cares about your best interests and have a wealth of experience to match. We've been in the business 30 years and are here to lead you every step of the way. Whether it's building the custom home of your dreams, doing gorgeous home renovations, building a laneway home, or revamping your commercial space. The star process works. Just ask our hundreds of satisfied customers. We have several properties and the best thing about Star for Life Services is that the work is done in a very timely manner and we're always very pleased with the result. Star, let's make your dreams happen. Call us now to book your free consultation. When the majority of people are celebrating the birth of Sayyidina Isa salam, we are the first in line to celebrate. We have the most right. There are nobody who represents Sayyidina Isa salam on earth except the awliyaullah and the lovers of awliyaullah. Why? Because they represent Sayyidina Muhammad There's nobody on this earth right now that represents Sayyidina Isa unless he's from 124,000 awliyaullah. So means then they take us to the hand of Sayyidina Isa As Sayyidina Isa is going to come and teach first from his holy mother. So my mother is a holy soul, Sayyidina Maryam al -Muqaddas. Allah gave Sayyidina Maryam a tremendous secret. 
And Allah says, we have chosen you Maryam above all women. Chosen for what? That we can't say but you should think a little bit. She has very closeness with Sayyidina Muhammad Her life is a description salam of tremendous sacrifice, tremendous difficulty. Raised amongst their scholars, Sita Maryam comes into our life and begins to teach us that they saw my miracle, they saw everything that was happening to me and they still came against me. In our life how we're going to use that as an understanding is that any time something of a Divinely light or blessing comes to somebody, people are going to be jealous. And by their means of jealousy, they begin to come against. All these blessings are coming to Sayyidina Maryam all this food is coming to the mihrab, to the life of Sayyidina Isa When Sayyidina Isa comes into our life and the eternal message for the heart is that they came against my miracle, that I am the Messiah that was promised but people found a deficit because they want to imagine what Allah's servant is going to be like. How could he be the Messiah if he has no father? Because of his imperfection they denied the reality in which Allah bestowed upon Sayyidina has no father because the father gives you all the bad characteristics that you inherit onto earth. If your father pure, you're pure. If difficulties from your father will be bestowed upon the child. So Allah wants to show the purity of this soul that coming as their Messiah has no bad character, has nothing from this dunya. As a result Sayyidina Isa comes into our life and begin to teach, this is the maqam for elevating towards the heavens. If you came with that knowledge, you came with your faith, you built and sustained or you controlled your fire, made it the fire himma, they give your hand to Sayyidina Isa and said, now let me teach you how to lift off. and come and to perfect our character and teach us that whatever you do in life don't do for people. They sold me for a bag of coins. Means that becomes our example in this turuq and in this way. If anything you do is for people, it's not for the intention of Allah and get your pay from the people. If what you do is for Allah then don't worry about what the people think you, like you, don't like you, hate you, praise you. It's none your business. Ruhullah comes into our life and teach, they sold me, I showed them every miracle. And as a result they still sold me for a bag of coins. They're going to sell you for less than the coins, less than the bag. And Sayyidina Isa because of those miraculous showings, then people began to worship him and comes as a reminder for people taking a path of realities that show nothing. Sayyidina Muhammad didn't show any miracles, why? Because he knows. As soon as you show miracles it increases people's fight against you, they come against you. They're going to come after everything so Prophet should know no miracles. The way Khuluq al Azim of Prophet be humble, be humble, be humble, be nothing and Allah's greatness to shine. InshaAllah Allah bless us, dress us on this holy night and then grant our lights with the lights of Islam, Iman wal Maqam al Ihsan. Bi hurmati Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha.